I'm going to do is to make sure that the main quick disconnect to the left is in the off position. Now, we turn on the main quick disconnect to the on position. We push, we pull the red button to turn on the no. conveyor belt. Okay. We allow it to uh, do cycle. a cycle. Then we push the green button to start the uh, cylinders, both the air cylinder, the pusher, and then the uh, one that pushes the, the uh, pusher down. Green light indicates that there is air pressure. It'll cycle. Okay, we've got the cover off right now. Yeah, we've got the cover off now. What about the air hookups over here? Running at 60 psi. Yeah, we're running at 60 psi. Here's a regulator. We're locking it into position. Does it always lock in, or? Uh, well, once you calibrate the uh, pressure, you know you've got your 60 psi. You can lock it in place and leave it there. If you need to regulate it and give it a little more pressure, you turn the knob to the right, and you can see the pressure increasing. So decreasing. So the 80 psi. So it's put to the right. Yeah. We're allowing more air to go in, so we're increasing the pressure. This unit will run at 60 psi. And we lock it in place. We have the uh, air manifold. And the, one, the one on the left shows the uh, said they were the cylinder. Cylinder. Cylinder number one that pushes does, does the wedges. Okay. Manifold number two on the right side towards these plates here is the one that pushes the product down into the vibratory. Okay. What about the vibration? Uh, yeah, the, the vibration turns on automatically when you turn the unit on. So turn the power on. Yeah. The, uh, the, vibrator, the vibrator is mounted below the pan. Okay. 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 We're going to feed one in. So we got the cover off, but we're going to feed one in, right? Yes. Now, it's important too that when we place it on here, right, you want to. Yeah, it's important to center the melon in order to get a direct hit on your wedge blade. Okay. 